So today's thing is to turn this pre-cut steel, neatly wrapped up because I put it inside my car, not on the roof, to make some shelves for the shed. So this is what it's going to be like. We've got angle. So we're going to have some legs like that, some stretches across the top, one there, one there, and one there. a couple across there like that. Now because it's angle iron we're going to have to trim the ends of the so these bits here these are going to get the, the treatment so looking from the top that's that bit on cross section we're going to have a piece coming across here now I don't want it to sit in there Kind of like that, because then that's going to make it shitty for the uh, for the piece, which is then going to have to weld on there somehow. That bit, the stretcher. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to I'm going to take that piece of angle, which kind of looks like that. And I'm going to notch it out like that. So take a cut across there, and take a cut across there, and then it'll fit in there, like that. It'll sit flush there, and it'll sit flush there, and then we'll get, on that piece there, you'll get a full weld across that. There you go, it goes across there. Actually, have helps with this in picture. So there'll be a full weld across there and a full weld across there. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of angle to trim and cut the ends on. Right, so notch is cut, slightly mopped up now, or tacked up actually. This is where the intermediate shelf is going to go. So this is all the, the second frame clamped to the first frame which is tacked up. You get it pretty well. The main thing with this is that it, you might have it a few degrees out well hopefully half a degree out at the most and the square and the height and so forth but if you clamp one end frame to the other they're both exactly the same so you don't end up with any big kickers or anything and with it being tacked as well you can stick the tape across the corners and then bash it around a bit until it is square so I've got the frame completely tacked up now measured across the top for triangles because of course they should be the same and we were like 10 mil out so here's a nice little tip if you put the strap across the middle on the longer side and just crank it the tiniest amount you pull it in well as it happened one crank on that and it pulled it 10 mil the other way so it's really not going to be a big problem and once you cut your boards nice and straight to go on the top of, top of here and on the top of here they're going to pull it in straight anyway but an angle iron frame like this is going to twist a lot anyway. But I just need to uh, run some nice welds in for the stretches, grind off any slag, and it'll be done. So, the one or two tacks which were exposed and now gone. The main thing I wanted to do is get all the welds in places where I didn't have to grind them off or cut a piece of wood off. So as it stands all I've got to do is cut a piece of wood 
and if I want it to come to the edge I'll have to put a notch in the outside but otherwise all the welds are on the underside now in order to get some pretty welds everywhere I would have had to have been turning this over and around and getting the uh, optimum position but given that this is just a shelf for my shed and I'm not selling it and I haven't got enough space to move it all around it is done how it is so where you've got where it's lying on the ground there you get this beautiful weld and then where it's a vertical up not so beautiful but then where you can actually see it there is no weld at all I didn't necessarily have to put those stretches across the bottom but I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough for it to sit right where the beams are on the bottom of the shed so I wanted to spread the weight of this shelf in across there and um, welding a piece of flat steel to the bottom of it would have made it not sit flush to the cupboard or the edge and leaving just the angle it would end up rocking and cutting through the timber this is only like 12 mil plywood and plus I've got a lot of this angle left over and you know what it, it's no big deal probably like 20 pence worth of steel there it's just a little bit more cleaning up to do as I've taken a video I can see bits of spatter and shit everywhere but you know what soon be ready for paint we're gonna go with red red like that Guess what? I've got a whole pot of it. That's my dust sheet dog. So it's got a lick of paint now. I'll tell you what, it is pretty hot out here today. I reckon it's around about 28 degrees centigrade. Can you even focus on it? So yeah, I've concentrated on this side. But the thing is, you can paint it. But do that bit. And by the time you finish that bit, you can go back to this side and do another coat. I think it looks pretty good. I haven't got any boards for it at the moment. And when I sort of do these things, I normally put plywood on. But I think plywood's going to sag in the middle a little bit. So I think I'm going to get some one-inch pine and cut them to length. Just chop them off. You know, maybe between six and eight inch boards. That'll look good on there. 